welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we are going to discuss uh, the modulus uh, or the magnitude of a vector yeah so how do you calculate the modulus or how do you calculate the magnitude of any given vector so it's simple if you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure that you click on the subscription button and if you uh, need any um, help in mathematics physics chemistry or biology feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen and don't forget to uh, click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and if you have any questions feel free to contact me i'll help you as soon as i see it all right so let's quickly uh, begin to, uh, to learn how to solve rather how to calculate the magnitude or the modulus of a vector all right, so the modulus of a vector is simply just its uh, size, the size of the vector in short. Yeah, so if you have been given the vector uh, OA, I like using OA, if the vector OA is equal to uh, a, um, AI plus BJ, then you've been asked to find the magnitude of OA. So the magnitude of the vector OA is simply just given by the square root of a squared plus b squared so if oa is a 3d vector so what i'm doing is i'm tackling uh, both 2d and 3d at once so if, o, if oa is a 3d vector meaning it has three components x y and z components so if if oa has um, three components to find its magnitude so you just do the same so you are going to have a squared plus b squared plus c squared then you find the square root of that that's the magnitude of a vector all right so uh, we have one part of uh, vectors which um, uh, utilizes the magnitude um, uh, throughout in short so which part is this? There's this part known as the unit vector. So how do you find the unit vector of, a, uh, of any given vector? Or before I even go there, what is a unit vector? So a unit vector is simply just a vector which has, um, rather, which has the magnitude equal to 1. So if you find the magnitude of a vector is equal to 1, you have to know that that vector you are dealing with is known as the unit vector. All right, so the vector whose magnitude is equal to 1 is known as the unit vector. All right, so let us see how we can uh, find um, the oasis, uh, uh, how we can find the magnitudes of these given vectors here and their, mag uh, uh, rather, and their unit vectors. Yeah, so before I, uh, I mean, before I start calculating, let me show you the representation of a unit vector. So if you have been given the vector u, if you have been given the vector u and they've asked you to find the unit vector of u. So the unit vector of u is represented by u cup and this is equal to, um, you, you write u there and then divided by the magnitude of u. So u divided by the, mag the, the vector u divided by the magnitude of the vector u uh, gives us what is known as the unit vector. So if you have been given the vector u as uh, a i plus b j, the unit vector in the direction um, in the direction of u is equal to. So the unit vector in the direction of u will be equal to a i plus b j over. Remember what we said: the magnitude of u. The magnitude of u. We said this will be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. And this is what we are going to put under there as a denominator. So this is the, this is how you find the, uh, the oasis. This is how you find the, the, the unit vector of any given vector. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the unit vector. So if they ask you to find the magnitude of a unit vector, meaning you find the magnitude of this, meaning you are going to find the magnitude of this after finding that. And then after doing that, uh, I mean, after doing all the calculations um, in these absolute value symbols, 
you discover that the answer will be 1. So the magnitude of any unit vector should always give you the answer as 1. Alright, so let's quickly move on to solving questions. Alright, so we have this question on the screen which says find the following. So the first part there is asking us to find the magnitude of u. So we have three u's here. So I'm going to find the magnitude of the first u and the second u. And you find, uh, rather find the magnitude of the first u and the uh, last u there. So the first one here and the last one. Yes, I'll find the first one, uh, the second one and this one there. And then um, you find the magnitude of v. Yeah. So I'll find the magnitudes of u and you find the magnitudes of v. When you find the magnitudes of v, in case you are doubting your answers, you can simply just contact me on any of these lines on the screen. I'll respond as soon as possible. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Alright, so let's quickly uh, find the magnitudes. And then from there, there's this part of addition of vectors. So when you're adding two or more vectors, you simply just add their, their corresponding components. Yeah. And then there's this part of finding the unit vectors and you find the magnitude of the of these unit vectors all right so let's quickly move on to solving so um all right so let me just change the color all right so we start u has been vector u has been given to be remember what i told you in the first video that uh, when you have these kinds of brackets then this represents a vector but if you are using parentheses it represents um, a point all right so we have one comma negative one and um, our vector u is therefore going to be equal to oh I mean the the the, one says the, mag the magnitude of the vector u is therefore going to be equal to the square root of what one squared plus negative 1 squared so the magnitude of u is therefore going to be the square root of what 1 squared is 1 negative 1 squared gives us 1 so the magnitude of u gives us what the square root of 2 I'm moving to the next u there so u so we have u there okay so let me not solve this one I'll choose a 3d u I'll get the one that is in three dimension so we have u, okay, so let me get the one that is in 3D. Or oh, I'll start first by solving the one that is in 2D, then we'll move on to 3D. So let me get this one. So we have u is equal to 4i minus j. So the magnitude of this vector u will therefore be equal to uh, 4 squared, and then plus, that one is negative 1, the, the coefficient of j there is negative 1, we also square it. So we have this being equal to 16 plus 1. And the magnitude of the vector u gives us what? The root of 17. All right, so let's quickly move on to the one that is in 3D. So we have this u which is in 3D of 1, 2, comma, negative 3. So the vector u is equal to that. The magnitude of this vector u is therefore given by uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 3 squared so the magnitude of this vector u is therefore going to be 1 plus 4 plus 9 so 1 plus 4 gives us 5 plus 9 gives us uh, 14 so we have 1 plus 4 plus 9 so okay so the magnitude of this u gives us what? The square root of 14. Okay, so let me also get one. So the ones that I'm leaving, you can, you, you, you can simply just uh, solve them. Yeah, you can simply just solve them by, yeah, by, I mean, you can solve them and then send the solutions. I check through the solutions. Don't worry about me, I'm tired. So, all right, so this is the magnitude of u. We move on to um, u, the one that is in 3D and in Cartesian form. So the magnitude of this one here, we say the square root of 
2 squared plus negative 4 squared plus 4 squared. So the magnitude of this u gives us the root of 4 plus 16 plus 16. So the magnitude of this u is therefore going to be, uh, we have 20, 36, which is the square root of what? 36. So the magnitude of u is giving us uh, 6 as the solution. Okay. So 6 is the, the magnitude of this u. All right, let's move on to the second part. So the magnitudes of V, you find them in a similar way I've found the magnitudes of U. So let's move on to finding the, 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 the addition of U and V and then find the magnitude. So I'll get this one here because it's, it's one that looks... Okay, let me start with the first one. I'll start with U and V from the first question there. So I... So u has been given and v has been given so let's add let's add u and v so we have one this one we, we add the corresponding ones is a corresponding component so we have one and negative one so we add one plus negative one and negative one plus two because we're adding v and u so we say comma Uh, we're saying negative 1 plus 2. So this part will give us a 0. So a comma, this will give us a 1. So what do we do? Sorry, this one is supposed to be that. Okay, so this is a vector that we have found. So now we find the magnitude of this vector. So the magnitude will be the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared. And this will give us 0 plus 1 is the square root of 1 which still gives you 1. So the magnitude of u plus v is simply just 1. Okay, let's move on to um, d. So D is, is asking us to find um, the magnitude of the unit vector of U. So the unit vector in the direction of U is given by... So the unit vector in the direction of U is given by U over the magnitude of U. So now how do you... So now how do you uh, find this? So we first have to find the magnitude of U. So the magnitude of u, we found it already, but I'll do it for the sake of understanding. So I'll do it, um, let me just pick any set here. So I'll pick this set. So the magnitude of u, um, the magnitude of u if I pick number 4, the magnitude of u will be the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. The magnitude of u is therefore going to be the root of 1 plus 4 plus 9. So when you add these, you get the square root of 14. So the magnitude of u is simply just the square root of 14. So the square root of 14, that's the magnitude of u. So now let us find... Um, the modulus value or the absolute value or the magnitude of this same unit vector that's what uh, d is asking us to find there so on top there sorry this is just the magnitude of u let us find the unit vector first before you find the magnitude so before you find the magnitude let's finish finding the unit vector so the unit vector in the direction of u is given by so we have the, vo the vector u the vector u is i plus 2j minus 3k then we are dividing this by the root of 14 so now to find um, the absolute value of the magnitude of u or the modulus value of the magnitude of u 
We we simply find the the oasis. We simply find the we simply find the the oasis the magnitude value of this vector. So we can split these components. So I can say one over the root of fourteen i plus two over the root of fourteen j plus uh, sorry minus minus three over the root of fourteen k. So this is not the the magnitude rather this is just a unit vector I've just splitted the terms right so now to find the magnitude of that so we say the square root of 1 over the root of 14 squared plus uh, 2 over the root of 14 squared plus negative 3 over the root of 14 squared okay all right so we quickly um okay so we quickly um uh find the solution for this so this is now the magnitude so the magnitude of the unit vector in the direction of u is therefore going to be equal to um so one squared will give us one the root of 14 squared will give us 14 plus 2 squared will give us 4, the root of 14 will give us 14, the square root of 14 squared will give us 14. Then we have plus 3 squared will give us 9, uh, over the root of 14 squared will give us 14. So finding the square root of this. So when you add, um, the denominator is the same, so we can just write it there. When you add 1 plus 4 plus 9, you are getting 14. So the square root of 14 over 14. So the square root of 14 over 14 gives us 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So remember what I told you. I told you that the magnitude of the unit vector is always 1. So make sure that even the answer that you are going to find on E should be 1. So the, the solution of E should be equal to 1. The solution of D should be equal to 1 for all these questions that you've been given. All right, so if you have any questions that you want to ask me, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. And don't forget to click on the subscription button and click the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. If you need lessons in math, physics, chemistry, and biology, feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen. My name is Amted. Shalom, shalom.